Hey guys, I'm Vicky and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sorting out the utility room. This is a declutter, clean, organise video. The utility room is where we have our washing machine. It's where we keep our pet supplies. It's where I keep a few of our like cooking um, utensils that I don't use on an every single day basis. All of my cleaning stuff is in the cupboards up high in the utility room here. I also put the bottles for recycling in here. It's got the microwave in here. It's kind of a bit of a mishmash of stuff. And because it's here and because it's quite convenient, it's become a bit of a dumping ground, I'll be honest with you. So I'm going to show you it now. And it does look a bit of a mess. Uh, there's a few things that immediately I know, right, that can go somewhere else, that can go somewhere else. But there's a few things that kind of need to find a more permanent home that makes this room look less cluttered and just makes it a little bit easier for me to use. So join me. Mm, hang on. Come here, Bob Pitt. And tell me something. What would you like to tell me, Barney? Take a picture of me. I am taking a picture of you. Say cheese. Cheese. Ah, uh, what do you think of this room? Is, no. it, is it messy or clean? No, it's not messy. It is, it's recording now. Do you think this room is messy or clean? Clean. Really? Do you really think it's clean or do you think it's a bit of a mess? A few things on the floor. There's a few things on the floor. Look at all that stuff on the side there. It's all tidy on there. Well, I, I think it's quite messy actually, but I'm glad you think it's tidy. The video may take a couple of days to shoot because it, this may be one of those jobs that, you know how sometimes you start something and you realise there's more to it than you had initially envisaged? <laughs> this may be one of those cases. It might be really quick. I don't know. At the moment I'm looking at it, I'm thinking this might take a while. So I'm going to show you a few before shots and then we'll just get on with it. So guys, I'm starting off by getting rid of the bottles, I'm just taking them out of the utility room, sticking them in my car to take them to recycle. And speaking of recycling, I'm just taking out some of the cardboard, the cardboard recycling all builds up in this room. And then I'm going to get set to work with trying to clear this counter. This is such a useful counter to have, but unfortunately it does become a dumping ground, as I said earlier. So I'm just trying to get things back to where they belong and the stuff that at the moment doesn't have a place, I'm going to like find a proper place for them. I'm currently doing a photo wall, by the way, um, up our stairs, which is why there were some pictures, some framed pictures there. I'll probably do a video of that at some point. It's going to be like a gallery wall and I'll, yeah, I'll probably film that for another vlog at some point. So I've managed to get rid of all the paint stuff that was there, that belongs in the garage with the other paint stuff. And I'm going to start working on the cupboards. Now I don't know what you think, like I can't decide if I have too many cleaning products or not, but at the moment what I'm doing is trying to gradually cut back on the number of cleaning products that I have. Some of them are a necessity. I know a lot of people who manage to like clean with natural products only but I just don't manage that. By the way that's flea stuff that is out of date so I'm gonna get rid of that. It's a free spray, free, flea spray for the sofa not for the actual cat. So yeah I, I don't know about like this sheer volume of cleaning products I have. I look at it and you know a lot of the bulk is in where I've I've bulk bought products basically so I've bought like four sprays of Viacal and I've got four or five like vinegars because I use a lot of vinegar. I'm just trying to figure out what to do with this plunger so I've attached like one of my hook clips to it and I'm trying to hang it on the door but the problem is the, the cupboard door isn't shutting properly with it there so I'm kind of stuck as to a good place to put the plunger at the moment. 
it's probably just going to end up at the back of the cupboard again because it's not something we use regularly so I don't exactly need it handy so yeah that's been a bit of a fail at the moment I'm now moving on to the other cupboard some more cleaning products here this is where I keep the Mr Sheen dusting stuff I keep my soda crystals in here there's a few cloths in here that can actually be moved because I keep most of my cloths in the cupboard under the sink in the kitchen that's my bicarbonate of soda there that I just pulled out and then this is also where we keep herbs and spices so I'll do the cleaning products first and then I'll move on to the herbs and spices it's going to try and like reorganize things in these baskets and hopefully free up a bit of space in the cupboards and just make it look neater I actually cleared out the out of date herbs and spices a few weeks ago so I'm not looking at any dates today I'm purely getting them into a point where like the large bottles are at the back and the smaller bottles are at the front so that I can see everything this little step um, shelf thing which has got my herbs and spices on that came from Lakeland and I love it love it it's extendable and it fits in most cupboards and it's just perfect, it's the best thing ever. So what I'm left with now guys is a much neater looking cupboard. I've tried to order things by category. So each basket represents a category or half of a category if I've had to split things got all my herbs and spices neatly lined up there which is good so I've got like a basket for washing and laundry I've got a basket for carpet stains I've got a basket for kitchen and bathroom the plant food I've managed to fit in there and the spray bottles and stuff so feeling quite happy with that so moving over to the big cupboard opposite so the drinks shelf I'm kind of happy with like it is what it is. I'm just going to add an adder shelf into this one just to give me a little bit more storage for the smaller little ceramic pots and dipping pots that I've got. So these are specific washing machine wipes which my mum got for the seal. Trouble is I've had them for ages, I forgot about them, I haven't used them, I've now gone to use them now because I want to clean my washing machine and like they've all like gone dry and horrible so I'm binning them and using a normal baby wipe to wash the seal. You don't need to buy specific washing machine seal wipes in my opinion, just wipe them down with a baby wipe or with a cloth and some water, whatever. It's just to get rid of the gunk and soap and any other bits that are in there. So I'm now spraying a bit of Astonish window and glass cleaner on my washing machine door and giving that a little wipe with a dry cloth to buff it out. It amazes me how grimy the washing machine can get. I wash the inside on a hot wash every month or so, but the outside I very rarely get around to doing. It does get dirty. This is my new method spray. I'm ridiculously excited about this. It's in a watermelon scent and it smells so good, like so good. And the packaging is ridiculously pretty. I like I don't I didn't need another method spray, but I couldn't resist it. That's just me. Another sign that I'm old. I buy things based on how nice the packaging is. I get excited about cleaning products. There we go. Oh, 
I'm being interrupted by a small child there. They're just cracking on, they're doing some drawing while I'm doing this. I'm just, yeah, gonna finish by wiping over the surfaces, wiping over the microwave, and then I'll get on with cleaning the floors as well. I'm also gonna wipe out the box that holds the um, recycling bottles, because that gets very sticky and gunky too. So the sorting out of the utility room is done and look at that clear surface that I can actually get things on. Um, I'm super pleased that I can now like actually stand in here like in every corner of the room because there isn't stuff all over the floor so that's a bonus. Um, before I said bye I just wanted to come on here and say something that I've been thinking about decluttering, cleaning and organisation in general because there is a lot of like incredible accounts out there like for example Marie Kondo giving advice about organisation, keeping your house clean, keeping it tidy. I think the problem is that we might sort of look at this stuff and think right I'm going to do this decluttering thing, this Marie Kondo thing and we do it and we're like wow. I work really hard, but the results are amazing, my house looks fantastic. And then a month or two down the line, there's mess again, and you're like, oh, what was the point in that? That took me bloody hours. Um, so I think what it's important to bear in mind is that even when you've done a huge declutter and reorganized your life and got your storage right and feel like you've got on top of the cleaning, you still have to live in your house. And when you live in your house, you're gonna make a bit of a mess. So sometimes in this room, I will just shove things in here in order to make it so that the communal areas feel tidier. And then once every few months, I get in here and I do this big cleanup operation. Sometimes I don't carefully place the cleaning product back in the cupboard. I stuff it in there because I'm in a rush. Like the kids want something or whatever. Like none of us are perfect and I don't know, if there are people out there with kids who are managing to live in a perfectly pristine house that's perfectly pristine 24-7, then wow, well done. I really am amazed, like genuinely, if you're managing to do that, that's great. But I, I think if you're anything like me, if you're like me, then sometimes the house is a mess. Sometimes you've spent hours doing some decluttering and a few months down the line, it's a mess again. My point is like the decluttering and organising and cleaning process is an ongoing process. You don't just do it once and have a magically amazing house for the rest of your life. You have to clean sometimes, you have to reorganise, you have to declutter, new stuff comes in, Christmases, birthdays, you buy things that you think you need, um, you buy new clothes, so you have to get rid of old clothes, you know, it's an ongoing thing. So if you're looking at your house thinking, what's the point? What's the point, why bother? I say cleaning can actually be really fun and therapeutic because even though we have to do it all over again, <laughs> the next day or the next week or the next month, um, it feels kind of good when you're doing it because you're switched off from everything else, for me personally anyway. I've just done this, all I've been thinking about is putting things into order and then the job's complete and I feel good about it. And 
I've been on my feet, I've like done a bit of scrubbing, so I've got a little bit of exercise too. So my point is, if you're wondering where to start and thinking what's the point, just start, just start in a room, pick, pick a room that you hate and just get cracking on it. Start with one cupboard today, start with a drawer tomorrow, whatever, but just do it. Just organize it and you know, accept the fact that it will get messy again, but that's just life. And honestly, none of us are perfect and none of us have got a pristine house 24 seven. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I'd love it if you'd hit subscribe to support my channel and I will see you on the next video. Take care guys, bye.